Hi, I'm Tom. I'm uh, starting this blog because I had an accident over a year ago and uh, I have trouble with letting people know how bad I'm having on the days and how good I'm doing so I thought that if I just do this it would be uh, a, sort of record how I go on a day-to-day -day basis sort of thing. Okay, so it's time to pick the kids up already. Yeah, and uh, this is how I normally do it. Impressive, right? I find that if I don't have my walking stick on my days where I'm probably normal, I feel like tipping over and it just helps me keep a little bit steady. And I've got my uh, my dog Renfrey here. She helps, don't you? You help knock me over, but you give me cuddles when I fall down. All right, we ready? Just step out of the way, girl. I'm free. You okay? Yeah. Wow. Let's see. My legs are tired. Your legs are tired. How you going there? My... Ears are hurting. My head's hurting. I feel like I'm gonna throw up in my <coughs> head. That's the boy. <laughs> the flash. <laughs> oh, this is the worst part. Doing the damn hill. Um, I was working as a as a farmer, a market. Market gardener, as people say, and I um, was loading up vegetables in the back of a tractor. And my boss uh, turns to me and says, "You need to come back with me to the farm so you can wash these vegetables." And uh, it was full of water and full of celery ac. That thirty deck. So what's that? That's three hundred pieces of celery ac. He took off. Because our tractor was, um, it used to stall if it was uh, lower than second gear on high. Probably about 20 k's, but at a stop-start sort of rate, ratios, uh, ratio. We're coming out of the land. He turned too sharply. As he turned too sharply, the bin full of vegetables and water slid and hit me, and I... I felt like I span and everything just went in the slow motion. Then I remember the moment that my shoulder hit the ground and then all of a sudden everything just went black. And I I woke up a time later. I've got no idea. All the it's funny because all the doctors are like, How long were you passed out? A second, a minute, an hour? It's like, I wasn't wearing a stopwatch. I don't, when I'm black out, I don't count the time. If anyone does, like, props to you. But I panicked. And the only thing that woke me up was because I was like, I'm going to let everyone down and I need to get this washed. I need to make sure everything's right. So I panic. And it's the last time I've ran. And I ran to the tractor and jumped on the side. So when we get back to the shed, I go into the washing bay where all the girls wash another vegetable that we use, that we pick was kale, and I go, the boss just threw me off the tractor and I have a really bad splitting headache and I feel like I'm going to pass out. And I, I need you girls to know this in case I don't wake up tomorrow. She's still at school. Oh, you now you gotta put your shoes in the shoebox, remember? Yeah. And I finished the day off at work, which was only like an hour or so left. I get home and I'm meant to start night shift delivering the vegetables to um 
to the big market up in the city and I'm in so much pain that I can't sleep and I, I don't normally like to ask for help and I I was in so much pain that I just wanted to be somewhere cold so I uh, slept in the bathtub and I couldn't sleep because I was in so much pain so finally I uh, I asked my partner if she can take me to the 24 hour clinic and this is a big deal for me at the time because I hated asking for help and she took me to the 24 hour clinic we got right in and the doctor prescribes um, eardrops and um, and codeine. And the only way I could sleep was popping codeine every two hours just to sort of like not be in so much pain. And I, I cracked my skull and my ear was filling up with blood, which was causing a lot of pressure behind my, my left ear. I still have it now. It's been a year later. I, um, I couldn't hear in it for six months, eight months. I've been to hospital, been to rehab. I get really dizzy. I have constant headaches. I black out, I fall asleep. Well, I, I can't get an answer whether or not I, I fall asleep if I black out or if I, I pass out. And I uh, I lose um, blanks of time where something at Christmas something could be going on, but I have no idea. And I wake up and I'm like, "Aren't we doing the presents?" And my partner would turn to me and tell me that Christmas is three days ago. And apparently, I went to her family's house, but I I, I can't remember it because. My my brain wasn't recording. Today's a uh, a better day than yesterday, where I um I had a headache from the top of my eyebrow and it like curved down all the way into my ear, and I was in so much pain that I was closing my left eye. Now I only feel nauseous and sick. Cold sweats and I've got a little bit of pain and my, my right ear is blocked. I find that if my left ear is hurting so much, my right ear starts to, to hurt for compensation. I think. I can't really get an answer. But I don't think there are any answers. Okay. Not really. Feeling dizzy? Feeling dizzy, feeling sick. In a lot of pain. Okay, I hope you get to bed. Yeah, okay. Hello, lying down after the walk. Okay, we just picked the kids up and lying down for a while. Sort of in and out. If you listen to this, thanks for listening. If you um, are going to the same thing, feel free to message or comment. It would be good to hear from other people. Think about putting it on the post-concussion syndrome page on Facebook. Yeah, I'm, uh, this is Tom and I'll have another video either a bit later or um, tomorrow. But uh, bye.